So they, they also put the humor there. I like to think that this, this guys have teams of people working on this funny, funny stuff to put there. But yeah, as a conclusion, I, I would like to say that in the, through these years, uh, what I see is the, there's been a shift from uh, this uh, speech recognition thing being driven by uh, institution, institutions or universities or governments to, to now where it's the actual users who, who like the common people who ask for their phone to understand better and uh, to be able to do more things. So that's interesting. And uh, I think these possibilities for this are uh, uh, only expanding in the way that uh, voice is how we communicate naturally. So it's the most natural way of communication. So if we can at some point do that reliably and uh, use that to control every whatever, then I think we will do and we will uh, be positive about that. So yeah, I think it will kind of explode in, in uh, this further years, this market. But let's see. Yeah, so that was it. Actually, well, this this Siri and this stuff is available in a lot of languages. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many, but there's more than English, certainly. Mm -hmm. And there's also in the Google research, they state that uh, their uh, ultimate uh, target uh, or goal is to make uh, everybody in the world be able to, to uh, talk to a computer. So people who never experienced that, uh, that's kind of their goal. So they, they're not only focusing on, on English, definitely. Yeah, so the, you have the Google example where, where you have a spoken interface, so you walk, speak to mobile phone and then it will do searches based on your speech. But then they have this other branch of the market or products, which is that they are doing the <clears throat> dictation of whatever audio is maybe there in YouTube and so on. So, but uh, well, mm -hmm. actually it's nice to see here, you talk about business side, we don't too much look into that at all, even though we are doing research on speed records, but uh, if you plop something in a YouTube, are they going to run a speed recognizer on every video or did you got any? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think they say that, but uh, I, I don't know. It, it is possible to have automatic captations for subtitles. For yes. Video. And you, you have to request it, but if you turn it on, it will run it through a speech recognizer and it will give you okay. a subtitle file that goes along with the video. But they might ban it anyways yeah, to uh, use yeah. that string. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, won't, I don't think you have any rights to your video to be applied to now we get back to my YouTube humor experience. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the strange thing that I uploaded in this video that I was speaking very bad speeches. So next time I log into my YouTube account, this, the first target that offered to me is the, some video about swingies. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that they might have done some processing while files or I don't know how could they grasp this. Maybe I put there in the tag, I put there that Swedish and English, so but they were offering kind of a similar scenarios. Bit same as they offer me the tupere. But they didn't offer me any tupere still. Okay, other more sensible questions. <laughs> One thing I was thinking, <coughs> so I guess there are many free of charge speech recognition systems. Do you know which one of them the is best at the moment? But uh, who do you mean free of charge? Because all these are free of charge now. Oh, they are. I mean, you can, yeah, of course, you can use it. Oh, yeah, but like if you want to use for your own 
ah. to your own system. Oh yeah, no, no. Some maybe uh, or libraries or. I don't know. I only know HTK because we are studying it now. But I have no 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 idea. It was about the business side so only. But now that you mention it, I saw some article about the open source. There is some something going on. There's some open source project. I read something about OSR, Open Speech Recognition, but I only do, I don't remember anything specific. If Google has some API, but it has some limitations, what Yeah, yeah, probably. But that's also what we don't know too well is that if you, as you say, the business model of some of these companies that they are selling you know, the API. So what, what kind of cost will, will they take off the product? So that's a mystery to us. But cut. So yeah, I mean that if you, let's say that you make a, you want to do a speed record some product, but then you are buying a speed recognizer from Nuance or yes. other company. So they will take some cut of your profits because you are using their recognizer or are they selling, how do they sell it to you and then finally are you able to make a kind of profitable business using. So when yeah. we be thinking of this business side, we have some commercialization projects. So, hmm. well, we, we sort of will take back off to the red organizer ourselves, but then the other alternative that you don't need to know anything about it, but buy the service and then make your interface things. Yeah. Well, I guess because they charge for the, these kits or APIs, so they get the money from that one. But again, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Really There was some, some time ago there were some rumors going around that if you bought it from IBM or whatever, they will keep your company alive after a while and then they will swallow you <laughs> on that cheap condition. A little, little bit like uh, Microsoft did for years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had this one more video which uh, I, had, I didn't have the time but uh, there's about uh, this toy from the 80s which has speech recognition if you want to see that pretty nice to see as well so how long is it going to be one minute uh, two minutes yeah, it was this thing yeah. from the 87, 250 dollars, and uh, you have to train it and uh, 